step with gun like he's all. Know. That flow you came in was crazy. Yeah, what's good, y'all? If you're new to the channel, my name is Shadiq, and I attend the crossover media. Hi, guys, my name is Frank. <laughs> If you're new to the channel, my name is Shadiq, and I've been crossover media. And this is Frank. Hey guys, I'm Frank. <laughs> so, I actually already played one of D Rose's songs for Frank off camera. This is one of those that people were requesting, but I already heard the song. So, I was like, you know what? Let me play it for Frank while he's here before we listen to some other tracks. He enjoyed the first one. So, I was like, you know what? Let's film the second one. I personally like this one more than, um, When Will It Stop? It took me a minute to get that. But, I don't know. Let's see what Frank thinks. Am I going down too much longer? Let's get it. It's a set up. Fly to the door, everybody face down on the floor, don't play. I heard you got boxes of yay and bread in low, so we're taking peace. You can ask their bros when it comes to the smoke, who's got that in bulk, no gain. I done did it in ends, done did it in OT with a reload on me. You can ask anyone about bros. When the wind takes my head, there's no old in peace. Last time I went round there with a whoosh, shut forensics cleaning loads of streets. But let me not say no more about that, cause it's all factual, we don't tap on beats. Big bro said I should take my time, I ain't even been home for a hundred days. And, and I already had an ends from work, and I already went fishing and bleached my blade. Done took so much man out of ramp, and I think it's time that they call me blade. Same way I do it with the bros, I'll do it on my own one thing, let me set that straight out. Grip my ching and swing and swing till I see nothing but bone and vein. Oh my god. I would say people are shorties in the corner pretending to be scared, mm -hmm. <laughs> but um, this one freaking the beat is called. I like this beat a lot. This is one of those very memorable beats to me, like up front. This is one of those you know how we say sometimes like some drill beats don't give you anything you haven't gotten before. Something about this one gives you a little bit of grime, gives you a little bit of dub, I guess. I think it's probably the bass. Something about the bass because they're barely even sliding. It's more like a quick kind of, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. but it's like something about it is just super distinct, and yeah, yeah. But people are sure he's pretending to be scared. Oh, I didn't even think that 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 Man caught on to my shower man ways And thought I was stuck in the shower man phase Now she just says I'm a reincarnation of one of them man from the shower man days And I ain't talking about in the UK I mean overseas where the shower man stay with it Lean and press and stretch and crep anything that step in the shower man way I hear enough man talking about jewels and stuff I just tell them be real, it's bluff I can put that shit on the fire then spilling up juice that we fold them cups Same way I did it in ends, I did it in all, I don't give a toss Just hop out the truck and fling two shot and pray that everything drop I hear enough man talking about jewels and stuff I just tell them be real, it's bluff I can put that shit on the fire gang, spilling up juice up before them cops. Same way I did it in ends, I did it in all, I don't give a toss. Just hop out the truck and fling two shot and pray that everything drops. Just leave me alone. I was OT for like three in a row, trying to feed them alone. Man can't tell me about walk with gun, man step with gun like Easter, you know. That flow he came in was crazy just Different, now. Different, right? Shit on the fire gang, spilling up. Man talking about jewels and stuff. He gives me the vibe of somebody who did grime before. When we talk about how some artists like they give you the vibe that they did something before this, he gives me like somebody who at least dabbled in grime. I could be wrong. I was OT for like three in a row trying to feed them alone. Man can't tell me about walk with gun, man step with gun like Easter, you know. Rebut man, I shot people, you know. Gunshot leave them all feeble, you know. While them boys just a leap on street, man jump and breeze in a vehicle, you know. Like zoom zoom, man up a breeze and speed. Enough time, D roll, squeeze and leave. Had to tell the driver, don't stop at all now, man's all feeling like band and dick. How many times did I get me a reload and get rid of Elizabeth Javan and quick now? Man can't tell me about trap, car been done trap from Quave and a band. Oh, yeah. I think Walks playing one or two. Liz and, and Bujaban, so light and dark. I think that's what you were saying. Squeeze and leave. Had to tell the driver, don't stop at all now. Man's all feeling like band and dick. How many times did I get me a reload and get rid of Elizabeth Javan and quick now? Man can't tell me about trap, car been done trap from Quave and a band or kid. When we pull up their dash, cause we scudder and slaps. Like, how many times did we get round there? No phones trying to turn them ash. And I ain't talking about losing control in the world when we skirt on the paves and crashes. Holy for entry and exit wounds when a man them's doing up jump out gang. Told my young boy, do it like Jason. If you see the blues and twos, don't play. Remember when I fucked up, made the same mistake. Had me on a fuck vacation. Then I came back better than ever Belly got bulgy from all that cake I had six packs, belly still fat on West Green Road Just flying and big 
out here, enough man talking about drills and stuff. I just tell him be real, it's bluff. I can put that shit on the five, then spilling up juice that we fold them cups. Same way I did it in ends, I did it in all, I don't give a toss. Just hop out the truck and fling two shot. I'm I like the mix of the storytelling in the video and just like a traditional drill. I, I, I don't know why I didn't realize it the first time I watched it, but it has a very, and it's like, the going back and forth doesn't feel too jarring either. It's, for some reason, it's, it feels fitting. Mm -hmm. Like, this is giving me, and even like the, the video, it's reminding me of kind of like a Central Sea kind of video a little bit, but also a little bit like a T-Way. Like, in my head, I was saying like, yo, he would sound cold with T-Way. The way that they tell stories. I was just about to say that um, if he can carry on like this, I can put him on that same level of, like, of like right? best storytellers in Joe. Honestly, yeah. I mean, I'm no, I don't want to put him in that box, but that's all I've heard from him so far. So that's yeah, what I'm yeah, saying. Yeah. Best storytellers in Joe. Yeah, but um, I agree. He's getting up there already. I agree, I agree, hundred percent, hundred percent. Pray that everything joy. I hear enough man talking about jewels and stuff. I just tell him be real, it's bluff. I can put that shit on the fire, gang spilling up juice that we fold them cups. Same way I did it in ends, I did it in all. I don't give a toss. Just hop out the truck and fling two shot and pray that everything drop. Thank you for being such good actors. <laughs> being good sports by having a shoddy in your face. But yeah, I enjoy this one. This, this is one of those that I think is probably gonna end up on um, when Spotify gives you your your um your top songs. Yeah. Cause like once I heard this one, I, I was rinsing it. I'm talking about like left it on repeat type. Ayo Twenty, this is a bad boy beat. <laughs> Every once in a while, these producers just come through and give you something just you just completely different that you never heard before. Yeah, I got a lot to say about this one. Yeah, say no more. So this channel we hold the vowels, that means we're getting straight into it. And this is one of my personal favorite tracks for the year. Like, point blank period. Like, this is up there with artists like Too Faced, who you may not hear from them very often. Mm -hmm. But the things you do get from them, they get slapped on the playlist, they get rinsed. Like, I actually want to hear him in Too Faced, now that I'm thinking about it. Because I think Too Faced can balance out... His storytelling, D Rose's storytelling with Two Faces lyricism and his wordplay and everything. I think those two as a combination would, would stop. Well, starting with the flows, um, he came in super special on that second verse. Fact. The first verse, you know, it was, it was really calm. It was just what you would, what you'd normally expect from the storytelling and yeah. drill in general. Makes sense. That opening just hit me different. Yeah, yeah. And yeah, I agreed yeah, with yeah, you yeah, yeah. saying like, you know, he, he's probably been exposed to in some like capacity grime yeah, at yeah, some yeah. point, like. Yeah. Whether it's been that he just listened to it enough, yeah. or that he's been playing around with that sound in the studio at some yeah. point, because it sounded so natural to him. Yeah, facts. There's something about it, it gives me like a DWE -E kind of vibe to it a little bit. I don't know, he was just finding different parts of the beat. I, I, I don't know, and the beat itself is also a special one as well. This was a cold beat. Like, it's one of those where it shows how simple can be so effective. Like, just, just changing one or two elements. Or like, it's, this is one of those where, like, it's drill in its content, but it's starting to kind of question the Ayaku, now what is the drill sound? Because now it can't just be 808s and whatever. Because like, it had the slides, but the slides were very so, subtle compared to some other kinds of slides that we're used to in UK drill specifically. So now it's just like, now now we're getting closer to that gray area of like, like, uh, like what Florida is doing, right? They're making drill music in its content and it's, it's nature, but then they're doing it on like remixing Fantasia and stuff. It's just like, can I call this drill? But it's like, how can I not? So I think that's why a lot of the producers are moving towards with their sound too. Mm -hmm. And this is also one of those uh, moments, you know, where I always say that a beat just needs to do its job. And usually yeah. it would either overcompensate or undercompensate based on, you know, how the, the artist is coming in. Yeah. And this was one of those that was just like dead smack in the middle. It didn't provide an extra energy that was needed. Yeah. Or it didn't fall back a little bit because the artist was so energetic. It was just one of those things where it almost sounded like, you know, this beat was put together. Yes. For him. Yeah, that's what you're saying. You know what I mean? That's what you're saying. I agree. Definitely. It's, it's one of my favorite beats for the year. Definitely one of my favorite ones. Like, I think it's subtlety is what makes it one of my favorites. Some other beats, like, I would love for the, the vocal chops or for the slides or for the whatever. This is one of those where I love it for how subtle it is lyrically i think we both agree this isn't an extremely lyrical song by the general standard right but by the storytelling standard it's, it's a1 mm -hmm. it's it's up there there aren't many artists who can give you a strong story on drill in my opinion i think it's a handful i could think of mm -hmm. like there's some who may be able to give you pieces of stories or so but like to give you something that feels almost like a whole story like it's, it's it's difficult in my opinion. Yeah, it's like think about it like having somebody like Nas or Cameron or Joey, mm -hmm. if they were to come out now, yeah. where drill is the sound now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah this yeah. is kind of like that laid back, you know, Beast Coast era sound. Yeah, that we used to hear, yeah, 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 yeah. Except it's on a drill beat. Fair. Just compared to some of the things we've heard with regards to lyricism, especially this past year, it doesn't hit the levels. I always make these references of like a Two Face, a Dave, 
even like what Big Jess, because Big Jess even has been able to give us the rap and drill series, right? Where he's he's giving you actual story on drill and he's not sacrificing his wordplay. That was one of the things that I think I probably even told him directly, if not at least in my reactions, like, yo, you have the sick wordplay, but it's not adding up. You're just having these really dope sequences and moments. But when you extract that and you look at it within the big picture, it's just like, why did you say that? Right, so not the fact that we have artists who are finding ways to inject their wordplay and their lyricism and give it a greater context, gotta respect it. And this is one of those, it's super replayable, despite it not having the perfect flow or having the perfect lyricism, everything else compensates. The beat compensates, the story he told compensates, just everything about it, it's, it's, it's incredible. I think even his voice as well. He also has a very distinct voice. Yeah, any final thoughts from you? Yeah, it's just like, you know, um, I think our expectations of drill are changing now. It yes. doesn't always have to be one of those things where you gotta jump up and party and kick your feet around. Yeah. Like, this is one of those tracks that I, that I could compare to something like a Private Ryan, where I could just play it in yes. the background while I'm driving. Yes, I agree. I agree. And you know what? I'm happy you mentioned T-Way, because as my closing note, D-Rose is one of those artists where I, I would love to hear him on the Top Boy soundtrack for the next season. Something about his voice and even just the way I want the video. This song, yeah. The video, this song in particular gives me um feeling it kind of vibes from T-Way. That was the first song I ever heard from T-Way from the season three of Top Boy that you put me onto. But something about just the way this one sounds, I could hear it being played in like somebody's car in a scene on Top Boy. Like somebody's pulling up, like it's playing loud, right? It's like open up a, a shot or a scene and then it pans down into a car. It starts to, to load down a little bit. So you can hear it playing in the car. It pulls up to somebody's end or something like that. And then they jump out the car and they talk. But you can still hear that playing in the back. Like, it gives me <laughs> it gives me the Top Boy energy, top to bottom. I really hope D-Rose can end up on the, on the next Top Boy soundtrack. Agreed. But yeah, man, let us know what y'all think in the comment section down below. And as always, hang tight for some more reactions. We do got more what's coming for you But until next time, peace.